Measurement. Lesson three, measuring lengths in inches, feet, and yards. Hello, I'm Mrs. Schneider, and today we are learning how to measure using inches, feet, and yards. Let's remember, an inch is about this big. It's about from where your thumb bends to the tip of your thumb. A foot on a, on a child's arm, this is a second grader, and from her elbow to her fingertips is about one foot. It's 12 inches. Okay, And a yard is about the size of a toddler. A yard is 36 inches or three feet. Here's another look at an inch. So remember, an inch is this part of your thumb that's about one inch. And it's about the size of a small paper clip or a bottle cap, okay? On the ruler, this side with the bigger side is inches, and the other side of the ruler has centimeters. A foot is about this long on a child's arm from the elbow to the fingertips is about 12 inches. Okay. The size of your folder at school is about 12 inches, which is one foot. Okay. A Subway sandwich is supposed to be a foot, but it's usually about one inch short of a foot. A ruler that you use in school to measure is one foot. See, it has 12 inches. That's one foot long. This little girl is four feet tall. Lots of second graders are four feet tall. And you might have one of these growth measurement charts at home. A yard is how we measure football fields. There are 50 yards this way and 50 yards that way. So there's 100 yards altogether on a football field. A yard is the same as three rulers. It's the same as 12 inches plus 12 inches plus 12 inches which equals 36 inches. So a yard is 36 inches. A toddler, like two or three year old, is about 35 or 36 inches. A toddler is about a yard tall. So we're gonna practice. When I say inch, show me the part of your thumb that's about an inch long, see? Show me this part of your thumb. That's about an inch. When I say foot, pretend you're holding a ruler between your hands. Pretending, pretend you're holding a one foot long ruler. When I say yard, hold out your arms to your sides. All right, let's go. Inch, foot, yard, inch. Foot, yard, inch, foot, yard. All right, now let's practice another way. Let's look here. You see that here's an inch, here's a foot, and here's a yard. See the difference in the sizes? So now when I say inch, I want you to say thumb. When I say foot, I want you to say 12 inches. When I say yard, you say three feet. Are you ready? Here we go. Inch. Thumb. Foot. 12 inches. Yard. Three feet. Inch. Thumb. Good job. All right, let's look at how to measure inches. So first you're gonna take your object and you're gonna line it up on the ruler. You're not gonna put it all the way to the edge of the ruler because some rulers have blank space down here and it's gonna mess up your measurement. So you wanna measure it with the first line on the ruler or with the zero. Then what you're going to do is you're gonna go to the end of the object and you're going to imagine drawing a line down to the ruler and seeing what number is closest. So on this object, if you imagine the line down, this pen is about seven inches. 
But what happens if it's between numbers? Well, look right here. Here's a four and here's the five. So this would be four inches and this would be five inches. And it's not exactly four and it's not exactly five. So we have to figure out what we're going to round it to. So right here, this line in the middle is the halfway mark. And this line is between every inch. See, here's the halfway mark between six and seven. Here's the halfway mark between seven and eight. Okay, so at this halfway mark, if the object is past the halfway mark, you're going to round up to the next number. If it's before the halfway mark, you're going to round down to the lower number. So just ask yourself, which number is the object closer to? So let's look here. Here you see the crayon. And we're gonna imagine that line down. And is it closer to the four or is it closer to the five? Five. Yeah, this crayon is past the halfway mark closer to the five. It's closer to the five than it is to the four. So we're going to say that this crayon is about five inches. All right, let's look at how long is the toothbrush? So we lined up the toothbrush with the line, and over here we imagined a line down, and this toothbrush is about seven inches. How long is the clothespin? Here it's lined up. The clothespin is about three inches. How long is the quarter? About one inch. How long is the screwdriver? About nine inches. We always need to choose the best tool for the job. There's lots of different measurement tools. We learned that a couple days ago. Here's a tape measure, ruler, a soft tape measure, and a yardstick. Well, people say that tape measures, like this one, are the best tool to use to measure big objects and long distances. But I personally love to use my tape measure to measure everything big and small. It can measure one inch, one yard, or even 25 feet. It is easy to use and I always have it nearby. We need to make sure we always choose the right tool for the job. Let's pretend like we don't have one of these handy tape measures for this next activity. I'm going to show you a picture and you tell me if you think I should measure the object in real life with a ruler, yardstick, or soft tape measure. So we use an inch ruler to measure shorter lengths. There are 12 inches in one foot. So our small items, we're gonna use a ruler. Okay. We're going to use a yardstick to measure greater lengths. There are 36 inches or three feet in one yard. Okay, so our bigger objects, we're gonna use a yardstick. And we're going to use one of these soft tape measures to measure lengths that are not straight or flat. So if we need to measure around someone's head or around someone's waist or something that's not flat. All right, let's see. What should I measure with? Here we have a school glue. What do you think we should measure with? Ruler. Yeah, we should measure this with a ruler because glue is a smaller item. What should I measure with? Yardstick. Yeah, a yardstick. Very good. What should I measure with? Soft tape measure. Yeah, for this one, we would use the soft tape measure because we need to measure around the baby's head and that's not a flat or straight surface. What should I measure with? Ruler. Yes, we're gonna measure the pencil with a ruler because a pencil is a smaller item. What should I measure with? Yardstick. 
great. We're going to measure with the yardstick because a chair is a, a larger object. It's bigger than the ruler, and we can measure it easier with a yardstick. For this picture, we're going to measure around the garbage can. We're going to measure the circumference of the garbage can. So what should I measure with? Soft tape measure. Yeah, we're going to measure with the soft tape measure because this is not a flat surface. We need to measure around. All right, here's a cell phone. What are we going to measure the, the height of the cell phone with? Ruler. Yes, we're going to measure this phone with a ruler because the phone is a smaller object. What should I measure with? Now, this is a big whiteboard in a classroom. What should I measure with? Yardstick. Yes, I'm going to measure with a yardstick because it's a larger item. What should I measure with? On this one, you see, I'm trying to measure to see what size collar the dog needs. What, how do I, what should I measure with him around his neck? Soft tape measure. Yeah, I'm going to measure with the soft tape measure because I need to go around and it's not a flat surface. Okay, now I'm going to ask you questions about inches, feet, or yards. Your friend said the length of a baseball bat is about one. Does your friend mean one inch, one foot, or one yard? Think about it. All right, what do you think? A yard. Yeah. The length of a baseball bat is about one yard, right? You wouldn't be able to swing this little inch around and hit a baseball. And this foot would be way too small to, of a baseball bat. The, the length of a baseball bat is about one yard. It's about three feet. Okay. Your friend said the quarter is about one. Does your friend mean one inch, one foot, or one yard? Think about a quarter that's in your wallet. About how big is that quarter? Inch. Yeah, a quarter is about an inch long. Your friend said the cup is about one tall. So think about a big coffee cup that you get from Starbucks or something, okay? If your friend said the cup is about one tall, does your friend mean one inch, one foot, or one yard? Think about it. Is your coffee cup going to be this big, about this big, or about this big? What do you think? A foot. Yes, your cup's going to be about a foot tall. More like maybe nine or ten inches tall, but about a foot. Definitely an inch cup would be way too tiny, and a yard, a yard cup would be way too big. Your friend said the length of a couch was about two. Does your friend mean two inches, two feet, or two yards? Yards. Yes, a couch is about two yards long. Your friend said she is about four tall. Does your friend mean four inches, four feet, or four yards? Four feet. You got it. Lots and lots of second graders are four feet tall. Okay, so for this activity, you're going to tell me if it's inches, feet, or yards. A crayon is about four what tall? Four inches, four feet, or four yards? Four inches. Yes, a crayon is about four inches. If it was four feet, that means it'd be as tall as a second grader. That'd be way too big. And four yards, my goodness. If there's three feet in a yard, that would be three plus three plus three plus three. That would be 12 feet, which is even taller than the ceiling in the house. So that would be a humongous crayon. So a crayon is about four inches long, OK? 
okay? An iPad is about one, what do we think? Inches, feet, or yards? An iPad is about one feet. Mm -hmm. One foot tall. Good. An iPad is about one foot tall. When you measure it, it's about 12 inches, which is the same as one foot. A chair is about one blank tall. A chair is about one yard tall. You're correct. Good job. A chair is about one yard tall. You could put a yardstick here and it would be about the height of the chair. An iPhone is about six blank tall. What do we think? Is it six inches tall, six feet tall, or six yards tall? An iPhone is about six inches tall. A second grader is about four blank tall. Is it four inches, four feet, or four yards? Feet. Right. A second grader is about four feet tall. A traffic light, now think about this. A traffic light, big trucks have to drive underneath it, right? It's higher than the ceiling of a house. A traffic light is about five blank tall. Is it five inches, five feet, or five yards? Yards. Yeah, a traffic light is about five yards tall. If it was five feet tall, that would be shorter than me because I'm five feet four inches. So it definitely has to be bigger than five feet so that a big truck can fit underneath it. A worm is about six blank long. Is it six inches, six feet, or six yards? Inches. Yeah, a worm is about six inches long. Two yards is six blank long. Is two yards six inches long, six feet long, or six yards long? Six feet. Yeah, exactly. Because one yard is three feet. So three feet plus three feet is six feet. All right, let's estimate. We're almost done with today's lesson. Wait, what does estimate mean? Estimate. Make a guess based on what you know. When you estimate inches, feet, or yards, you guess the length based on the length of an inch, foot, or yard. The paper clip is one inch long. See this paper clip here? It's one inch long. What is the best estimate of the length of the marker? Five inches, five feet, or five yards? Inches. Yeah about five inches. See, it would take, a if the paper clip is one inch and it would take five of them to be the length of the marker, then we can estimate that the marker is about five inches long. Very good. What is the best estimate of the length of a hairbrush? Eight inches, eight feet, or eight yards? inches. Yeah, a hairbrush is about eight inches. It's less than a foot long. If it was eight feet, that'd be taller than a dad. Yeah, lots of dads are between five and six feet. So if a hairbrush was eight feet, then that would be taller than a grown man. And eight yards, that is like probably the length of our driveway. What is the best estimate of the height of a basketball hoop? So here's a basketball hoop. Here's probably a dad, right? And it's taller than the dad. So do we think that the basketball hoop is three inches, three feet, or three yards? Yards. Yes, it's yards, good job. It's about three yards. So think three yardsticks. One yardstick, another yardstick, and another yardstick. It's about three yards tall. What is the best estimate of the length of a dog? So this dog being uh, measured this way, do you think this dog is three inches long, three feet long, or three yards long? 
Three feet. Yeah, three feet. Exactly. Remember the basketball hoop was three yards, and that was taller than the dad. So we know it's not three yards, right? It's three feet. You could probably have three rulers here about the length of the dog. What is the best estimate of the length of a bus? Nine inches, nine feet, or nine yards? Nine yards. Yeah, very good. The bus is about nine yards long. Now buses come in all different sizes. There might be a nine foot bus, but most of the buses at our school are really long, really big buses. Learning how to measure can be hard. The more you practice, the easier it will get. I know you can do it. See, this guy's still having a hard time and he's an old man. So you guys have plenty of time to practice and get it down. Have lots of fun measuring, guys, and have a good day.